Hello everyone, this is Tyler. So, um, today I'm going to demonstrate how to mail a letter. So, this is part one of three. So, the first part is marking the address and where you're going to send it to. So, um, to start off, over here is um, basically where you write your name and I'll go through the whole steps as we go through um, and I'll do a demonstration. Now, the United States Postal Service um, mainly says that they like to have black or blue pen on the envelope. So I'm using black so they mainly like to see black or blue pen writing on envelopes of where it is going to be sent to along with the address of the person or wherever you're sending it to. So I'm doing this because if you guys would like to send me fan mail, I'll also have that uh, my fan mail address in the description below. So anyway, the first thing you want to do is... Um, write my name and I'll show you after I'm done writing it and you want to print your name which means uh, writing it regularly not in cursive so you can see there's my name that's the first thing you want to put so the first thing you want to put is your name, your address, your town, next to your town, your zip code. So the next thing you want to write is your address, which my address is 17 Clinton Street. Now you could do it two different ways. You could either write your address, um, with an ST at the end or street if you live on a street or you can write RD or road if you live on a road the name of a road so uh, the next thing we do is the third line is my town and state which is Dansville New York zip code is 14437 and yes, if you guys would like to, um, you can pause the video if you would like. Again, I will have the description for my fan mail address below if you guys would like to send me fan mail. So there's all you do for that. That's the first thing you want to do. The next thing you want to do, which is right here in the middle... You want to put where you're sending it to. So the first thing we'll do, I'll demonstrate. We're just pretending here in this video. So I'm going to do the, um, the fire department address. Now, I'm not going to send this because it's just a demonstration. So you get Dansville Fire Department. And again, this one you want to print. And like I said, you want to do this in black or blue pen. So there it is. That's the first thing you want to write. The second thing is you want to write the address, which is 11 Franklin Street. Now this time you want to actually write the whole name. You want to write either street or road like I just did. So that's the address right there of the uh, fire department. And then you want to write the town and stay on the third line. This is the last line.
which is Dansville, New York. Now this one you can write um, the state, whether it's, uh, you don't have to write the state in the whole name. You can write the initials of the state. And then the last thing you want to do is next to the state, you want to leave some space because next to that you're going to put the zip code of where you're sending it to. And of course that would be 14437 because that, um, the, that fire department is right here in town where I live and that's basically all you do so over here I got my name and again you can pause it if you would like um, if you'd like to send fan mail um, again I will have my fan mail address in the link below the video and then 17 Clint Street Danzel New York and yes that is my real address and then the Dansville Fire Department, 11 Franklin Street, Dansville, NY, 14437. So remember, the zip code always goes next to the state. And you got to leave space. Um, it always goes next to the state on top of here in the corner along with here in the middle. Now... The last thing that you got to address the envelope with is um, it's called a stamp. Now it's a postal stamp and I have what they look like over here. So this is what a postal stamp looks like. Uh, they come in different shapes and sizes and different prints. Um, and then, uh, as you can see, the United States Postal Service logo on there. So these are um, USPS um, postal stamps. And these are what you want to use whenever you're going to send a letter. The stamp always goes on the top over in this corner. Right here. All right, so once again, right here in this corner is where the stamp goes. Now, before you go to the post office or a mailbox to send it, you want to put a letter in here, and I'll show you actually how I pull the letter. I don't have one written, but you want to have a written letter before you send it of course you know so I do that and then I do this so I make two folds just like that yeah I'm, I'm only a one man with this camera guys so I'm sorry and then I do this because it's the paper is bigger than the envelope is so you can see how I do that it's just like that I make two folds and I fold this one over down to uh, the other side. Now, the way that you put it in the envelope, you want to, of course, open the envelope up. You can put it in either side. You can put it in this way or you can put it in this way. I normally like to put it in this way. So as you can see how I'm putting it in, you put it in just like that. Now, the way you close it, there's a special um, glue right here that you have to lick. So there's a special type of glue. And no, it won't harm you. It's it's not toxic, obviously, or anything like that. They don't make those things toxic. But anyway, um, you want to lick that. 
because it makes it sticky and it's able to close properly. So I'll do that right now and then I'll close it, but I won't have the camera facing me. So I've just done it and then you want to close it up just like that and once it's closed then you're ready uh, to send it to the mail. You're ready to send it to the post office or a mailbox and uh, and that's basically it for part one guys. Thanks for watching part one and uh, please stay tuned for part two in the next video. Thanks for watching.